The graft ring really depends on what the patient's requirements are. Uh, some patients need a smaller procedure. We do what's referred to as an executive case. Uh, for those whom cannot shave their scalp and those uh, we typically limit to about 1,200 grafts and they can have the procedure with FUE harvesting and return to work within three, four days. Okay. There is a second manner in which we approach the case and that's where we can leave the hair on top long and buzz the sides. Mm. And that we limit to about 2200. Uh, mostly because when you go higher, it becomes tougher to conceal that uh, level of trauma with the dense packing that we do. The third is a shaving session. And those we have gone as uh, high as in the 6,000 range. So in that case, you'll shave everything and just- We'll shave the donor okay. region. We will shave. And when I say shave, we clip it very short. Right. It can't be completely shaved. Right, of course. Yeah. And <clears throat> those we have gone as high as in the 6,000 range. Our average generally is between 3,000 to 3,200 grafts. That's where we feel uh, most uh, folks' needs are. Uh, there are circumstances where patients do want to have a very large session, and we have done that. And so those are where our ranges lie. Now, densities do differ based on origin. Uh, for example, uh, patients from Northwestern Europe, they have finer hair. Right. And so their follicular density could be as high as 100 to 110 follicular units per centimeter squared. And you have to consider that when you're um, restoring the front. Right. Because if it is anything less than what they already have, looks e even if you go up to 75, you're still short 30 follicular units per centimeter squared. Right. You're still thin 30 follicular units per centimeter squared in that region comparatively. So th these are the intricacies you really have to look at when you're determining graft count. Most important, you have to know that your donor region is finite. Right. Do not waste it. You know, use every graft judiciously, yeah. and it is permanent. So where the hairline begins is a real, real uh, key consideration because hairlines can always be brought down. Once they're down, they are permanent.